Jace is a marine science major at the University of Tampa. He has been working with me for three years on spider crabs and macrobrachian shrimp. Amanda is also a marine science major at the University of Tampa. She's been working with me for two years on spider crab morphology. Lauren is currently a graduate student at the University of South Florida in Tampa. She was a University of Tampa marine science student. Lauren and I have been working together for about seven to eight years on macrobrachian shrimp and specifically their grooming behaviors and their morphology. In our lab, we use light microscopy as well as scanning electron microscopy, which is located in the biology department at the University of Tampa. We have been looking at the morphology of spider crabs and the grooming appendages, as well as macrobrachium shrimp, which is a very important commercially. We've been looking at the grooming appendages and macrobrachium shrimp as well. Macrobrachium shrimp have different morphotypes, A being a female, B, C, and D being males. The grooming appendages that we normally look at in crustaceans are going to be their first walking leg or the first periapod, their second walking leg or second periapod, and then their third maxilliped, as well as potential other mouth parts. The following are images taken from the SEM in the Department of Biology. These are images of the distal end of appendages, the joints of appendages, where you can see many different types of CD. These regions are important for grooming. So very specifically, we can get pretty close up and see some very fine microstructures that help these individuals groom. Sometimes the structures that help these individuals groom may look like mats of hair, or they may look like bristles of a hairbrush. But what we know is that these CD are absolutely very efficient in their job of cleaning the gills. Because when we look at this picture of the gills, the gills are relatively not fouled. And it's because that we found some very specific types of CD that have not been found in other crustaceans. And so looking at the morphology can also help us understand the function of the behaviors of animals.